My name is Ben and I'm a curate here at St. Peter's and we continue our worship together through prayer. So let's pray. Loving God, thank you that you know us, that you love us and that by your Holy Spirit you are near to us. And we thank you as well, Lord, that even though we aren't gathered together physically, that you hear all of our prayers, those that we pray individually and those that we pray collectively. And we thank you as well, Lord, that even though we aren't together, we truly are united by your Holy Spirit. And so we pray now for our, our, our church family here at St. Peter's. And we thank you, Lord, that the, the government guidelines allow us to begin to meet together in person. And we ask, Lord, that you would be with all of those involved in making sure that the outdoor services go smoothly. That technology won't fail and that those who are able to be there are, are able to feel safe. And Lord, we ask each of these things not so that we can say we've done a good job, but so that all those who are there, that their hearts and their minds might look beyond all that's going on at the front and that they will look to you. But of course, Lord, we continue to pray for those who are unable to make it, particularly for those for whom it's not wise to, to gather in groups like that. And so help us, Lord, to, to be aware of these members of our church family and to serve them as best we can so that they too might encounter you in their own worship and through the service of others. So in a moment of quiet, let's name in our hearts before the Lord those who, who are a part of our church family that we know are in particular need of our prayers today. We turn our, our prayers outside of those in our church family. And we continue to pray for the pandemic that, that has shaken countless communities all around the world. And so we thank you, Lord, for, for the, the, the courage of health workers who are serving on the front line of this fight. And we ask, Lord, that by your spirit, they would know a sense of peace that only comes from you. And that, Lord, we ask that, that you would give them the energy to keep going, whilst also giving them time to rest, to recover and spend time with those they love. And of course, Lord, we ask for your healing hand to be upon those who are currently suffering. And for your peace and hope to be with those who have lost loved ones. We ask once more, Lord, that you would empower your church all around the world to support those who need it. And as we begin to consider what it might look like for St. Peter's to gather physically once more, we think of our sisters and brothers all over the world who have no choice but to worship in secret. And so we pray particularly for Christians in countries such as North Korea, Afghanistan, Somalia and others who are boldly meeting to worship you in spite of the fear of death and persecution for, from authorities and, and other groups. And so Lord, be with them today, this Sunday, empower them and encourage them. And Lord, may we too have that same boldness. boldness to declare the life-giving news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Lord, these are, are strange times and, and the church has, has not been required to step up in this kind of way for a long, long time. And so Lord, empower us to grow in knowledge and love of you so that we might be transformed into your likeness and be energised to offer your message of hope to a searching world. 
Amen. And so a collect for today. Merciful God, you have prepared for those who love you such good things as that pass our understanding. Pour into our hearts such love toward you that we, loving you in all things and above all things, may obtain your promises which exceed all that we can desire. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And we close our prayers by praying together the prayer that Jesus taught us. So we pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen.